Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So if you're experiencing problem with Office 365 service, the new option is to, you know, check the Microsoft Service Health dashboard and your Microsoft 365 admin center uh, to determine whether it's a known issue uh, with a resolution in progress before you call support or spend valuable time in troubleshooting. However, the information displayed here is quite cumbersome and there's a lot to take in. Now, in, in a case where you want this information uh, to be in a CSV file or you want to automate something, uh, based on the information that you see on the screen, uh, you can use Graph API to do that. Okay, so in today's video, we're going to use Graph API to get the service announcement issues uh, and export the details that we get in the response as a CSV file. So if I quickly show you how the end CSV file would look like, let me show you that. Yeah, so this is the exported data that you see in the CSV format. This is the same data that you will see on the service health page. Okay, so for the demonstration purpose, um, this is the graph API that we would be running. So I'll be pasting the link to the query in the chat uh, in the description below. So this is the endpoint that I would be using. So admin service announcement issues, and I'm going to filter issues based on whether it is resolved or not. So at this moment, I'm just filtering the results based on which are active, okay? So I can see there are a lot of active issues going on at the Microsoft end. Okay, so I'll be creating a PowerShell script to call this graph API. Uh, get the response that we see on the screen and then export those data into a csv file so i already have uh, a powershell script uh, written over here so i'll be pasting the link to the script in the description below so you can get this detail handy um, all you need to do is replace the details that you see over here so you need to replace app id tenant id and the app secret from the azure active directory so if you need a video on how to create an app on Azure Active Directory and how to get these details, I already have one video on this channel. I'll put that link to that channel, put the link to that video in the description below. All right, uh, so once we have these details, I'll quickly explain you how uh, the script is working. So once we have this detail, this will call the token endpoint and get us the access token URL. Um, access token, so access token would be stored here. Um, then access token would be appended to the header with the authorization and where. Uh, a key and value and the url that we talked about the graph url using the admin service announcement issues applying this particular filter we would be calling this particular url and the response that we get would be saved in the response type and then this data variable is holding all the values which are there in the response and once we have that uh, we would be exporting that data into a csv file so pretty much very simple file to deal with and i guess the code is very simple out there um, so yeah, I think that's that's all I have for this video right now. If you have any other videos or if you have any other idea regarding this API, please feel free to let me know. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's all I guess. Uh, feel free to let me know and uh, do subscribe to this channel. It takes a lot of time and efforts to make this video to bring out most of Graph API. And also let me know what kind of videos you would like to have on this channel. And uh, we'll be creating a page soon where you can vote and give us more ideas related to this. All right, then. Thank you, guys. Adios for now. Bye-bye.